Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'm going to talk to you about this, okay? I We, in this COVID life, right? Yeah. Everyone has been spread, spreading rumors after rumor after rumor all the time about the COVID vaccine. As like, oh, they pump this sort of stuff in there. It's just like, geez, you can't really believe anyone when it comes to this sort of matter really to be to be completely honest there could be your best friend there people believe her or believe him or believe her best friend or him his best friend you know as just like why don't you actually hop on instead of listening to probably lies of people all together, it's like, oh no, they put in like fake news, obviously, right? Or they pump in um the COVID inside you and the vaccine on top of that. There, you know how it is. That's how they do it, and then people running scared like that. But it ain't. I have it here, right, on RT News. So to see what is actually in COVID vaccine before receiving injection the vaccine is mixed with so with water containing sodium chloride and a top spoon of salt that's what it is there hey Kim, yeah, are you scared of vaccines yeah or you're like, are you a big baby? Yeah. Did you need your mommy to hold your hand when you're doing this? Yeah. So here it is here. Right. That's the little yoke there that the girl is holding. There. They pump that st stuff inside you. There, and it's the real RT news, no fake or anything like that. All there is there, your man, the woman getting the vaccine. Right here. Welcome back. Well, on the day that Ireland secured millions more doses of the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine, one Dublin maternity hospital says all eligible staff will have received their first dose of the jab by this evening. The Coombe Women and Infants University Hospital began vaccinating staff on Wednesday. Consultant obstetrician Professor Chris Fitzpatrick taking a break from his normal duties to help vaccinate his colleagues in the Coombe Maternity Hospital in Dublin. Most information is submitted online in advance, a final checklist and the injection is given. It's a small dose, 0.3 mils. We double check the volume. That's correct. Okay, Nesta, so we're going to give you the vaccination now into the arm. Okay. It's really important for myself, my family, and more importantly, our women that we're looking after here in the Coombe and the newborn baby. So I feel excited and feel perfect. No aches or pains or any side effects. And um, so, yeah, good. The vaccine is prepared here in the dispensary. Six doses from each vial is mixed with sodium chloride and then double checked. Once the vaccine then is made up, it's reconstituted, it has a two-hour shelf life. So we have to do that in, in batches so that we ensure that the vaccine, there's no vaccine wasted. And all vaccines we've had have been used. And by this evening, the, the rest will be used. Up to 50 healthcare staff have been vaccinated an hour since the first delivery on Wednesday. There are almost 1,100 people working here in the Coombe Hospital, both part-time and full-time. 750 of those registered to receive this vaccine. Anyone with COVID-19 at the moment or isolating cannot receive it. While concerns about the vaccine were raised by some healthcare workers here, the master says no one has refused to get it. Everyone who can be vaccinated will be by this evening, along with around 50 local GPs. Diane Connor, RTE News. So, we just seen it there, right? So, that's what it is. So, there's no lies. It's the real truth. There, it's on RT News. 
the real doctors there know what they're at there what they're pumping into people so that's the full-on truth of what's actually being pumped into your tummy uh, sorry sorry <laughs> into your body system you know so that's the reality of it there that's the real truth there do not i mean do not hear it from another person that says oh i got this there and i got like loads of side effects and this happened there i go to sue oh yeah don't get it honestly yeah yeah don't believe what the doctors say. Don't believe them. Seriously. Don't get the fucking vaccine. Never do. Never. It's up to you to get it. Or don't get it. Do you know what I mean? But do not believe those stupid ass clowns. That are your super best mate. Oh, I believe this so much. Yeah, yeah. I believe my best friend over a fucking doctor. What, is your friend a doctor? Is he or she? Well, no. Then how did they know? Did they even get it? Um, No, but they heard it off someone. Who? Um, Some guy, some girl. Exactly. Some guy, some girl, no name. You know what I mean? This guy is a load of shite. This girl is a load of shite as well. No answers off them either. Right, oh, Dr. HSE, yes. What's the vaccine like? You're fine. There, come on in if you want to get it there. No harm, no foul. Okay, thanks. And then they're in the following day then, getting it and doing the right thing. Because, see, right, with the vaccine, right, yeah, you can get it or not. It's not mandatory, but you can't leave the country until you get the vaccine because you travel all the way somewhere else there you get covid you're fucked oh because they'll see then who who actually got it and didn't exactly because like once someone actually catches covid there in this world then it's like oh a couple more cases here fuck's sake that's not supposed to happen you know what I mean? So I think everyone is actually, the whole world will, uh, will be getting it, to be honest with you. Because they will get caught out because like shortness of breath and whatever it is that the, the COVID um, gives to you. You know what I mean? So oh, all these sy- sy- systems is happening again. Right back to square one. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? That's true, actually, Keen. Exactly. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.